how it all plays out in the kitchen? Well, let's find out with Cherish. It's going to be good. Thank you so much, Matt. We have Mark and Brandon here with us. They are from Montego's Caribbean Cafe. If you haven't been, it's something you have to check out. You guys, pretty new. Oh, yeah. Brand new. About yeah. three months old. Three months, that's all. That's really it. new. And you're right over near Providence Hospital in Mobile off Airport Boulevard. Right. We're uh, right next to the Army Aviation uh, Credit Union, right in the parking lot of Providence. Okay. And what sets your restaurant apart from everybody else? Well, um, we are uh, a Caribbean inspired restaurant, which is American food with just a Caribbean flair. It's not so much authentic, but it has the taste of the Caribbean with everything made fresh. Yeah, and, and a little bit of everything. I mean, there's, there's barbecue, there's pizza, there are burgers, there's chicken. That's I mean, it. it's all across the board, whatever oh, yeah. you want. Want to cover it all? Very cool, and you have live music. Yep, every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, we got a patio outside, and I, I see we got a cold front coming through, so it's going to be some nice weather uh, for everybody to come out, sit, and have a couple of drinks, get something to eat. Very nice, and today you're going to show us how to make something that's on your menu. Absolutely, fish tacos. Fish tacos. They are good. Yes, and tell us about the ingredients that we're going to need if we want to make these at home. Um, it's pretty simple, you know, you just need simple, small things. Um, right. Pineapple, we make a nice little slaw, and we're going to show you a recipe of that. Okay. <clears throat> and then we do a lime cilantro sour cream, and then we start with the white fish, we'll blacken it, and it all together. Sounds good. Will you want to show us how to make the slaw? Absolutely. Let's do it. We'll start out with our slaw, then we will add our mayonnaise. Okay. Right. Easy enough. Absolutely. Carrots. Pineapple. Okay. Salt. Pepper. Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Sweeten it up. All right. This is the easy part. Yeah. Just shake it. Just shake it up. Okay. Do you remember McDonald's used to have that little uh, salad in oh, the cup? Oh, yeah. I was like, you know, that's easy. We can do that. Yeah, absolutely. But that's and that's pretty, all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And then you just kind of taste it and make sure it is there. Sounds really easy. Well, you can get this recipe when you log on to our website, Studio 10 tab on Fox10TV.com. You can also find out a little bit more about Montego's. When we come back, you want to start getting the fish and everything ready? Absolutely. All right, we'll do that in just a few minutes. All right, we are in the kitchen with Mark from Montego's Caribbean Cafe and Bar. If the folks are just joining us, tell them what we've done so far in the kitchen, Mark. So far, we've made our... Um Pineapple slaw. Next, we're going to make our um, cilantro sour cream and we're going to start with our taco shells. Get so them fried up. Yeah, sounds good. What do we need to do to get started? All right, we start out with our um, sour cream. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add some cilantro. All right. Then we will go with a fresh lime. And that just helps you squeeze the lime juice better by using the spoon. Okay. For people that. That's a good tip. Yeah, absolutely. Barentine's pretty ripped, Matt, so he just squeezes it with his bare hands because oh, yeah. he's just super muscular. A little salt, a little <laughs> pepper. Then we just mix it up. And there it is. While you're doing that, tell the folks more about Montego's. You guys are pretty new. People want to hear all about it. No, absolutely. Um, honestly, it's just a fun place to work, fun mm -hmm. place to be. I mean, they got 24 beers on tap for who? We really care about it, but uh, <laughs> the food's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are repeat customers, so I try to go out and talk to all the tables that I can yeah. when I can, just to see, get the feedback on the food. And every, nobody really tells me anything bad. So, <laughs> well, that's a good sign. Yeah. In the first segment, uh, we talked about it's Caribbean-inspired food, all fresh. What are some of the other things we can find on the menu? Um, We've got a loaded potato that's going to be on our new menu coming out, okay. and it's uh, barbecue pork or chicken on a big potato with uh, sour cream, cheese. It's loaded out. It's nice. That sounds good. Oh, yeah. All right. So what are we working on here? Right now, we're going to get our tortilla shells. Normally, I do this whenever I get my pan hot before I get ready to put my fish on. I'll okay. just go ahead and fry my shells. Sure. Yeah. It takes just a second. 
And what was the, uh, was that olive oil you put Yeah, in just there? a little bit okay. of olive oil to season the pan a little bit. And... and there it is. So I tell you what, we're doing this right now. We've got the slaw. We've got our sour cream. When we come back, all we really need to do is fry up that fish, right? You know what to say. And then we can put it all together. So we'll do that when we return in the kitchen in just a little while. Back in the cricket, yeah, great kitchen set. I can't talk this morning. Good morning. <laughs> we have Brandon and Mark. They are from Montego's Caribbean Cafe. How I said that right and not good morning, I don't know. Yes. But we are back in our great kitchen set. It was actually that that I didn't say correctly. We're making some fish tacos. Made the slaw a little bit earlier. Remind everybody what is in that slaw. We have um, pineapples, carrots, um, cabbage, mayo. Uh, rice vinegar okay. and salt, pepper, and sugar. Sounds very good. Now, for we have to have fish in the fish taco. So, what type of fish are you using? Uh, this is a white fish that we get. Um, it's called striped pangaceus. All right. And for what we use it for, it does the job. Okay. And tell us about the type of flavor because some fish have that very fishy flavor, right. some is a very light. Right, right. That, that's exactly right. Uh, th this fish is not fishy at all. It has a real uh, white flavor, real light. It's not that, uh, that real fishy taste. A lot of times you, you, know, you go somewhere and you get fish and it's just like, this is overpowering. Yeah. This is a very fresh tasting fish and that's, that's why we went with it. And uh, it does great with this black in the season. Now the black in the season that he's using is uh, Paul Prudhomme's Redfish Magic. And we yeah. tried several things on our on our own, but you know, <laughs> if they got a good product, go with it. Yeah. Um, so it, it it works out real well with this fish. All right. Now this is just one thing that's on the menu at Montego's. Tell us about some of the other things. Oh, we've got a uh, well, we've got our hamburger, and mm -hmm. it's a three quarter pound certified Angus beef burger with a piece of our grilled pineapple, uh, two thick slices of bacon, cheese. Um, lettuce, tomato, onion, and a bun that is second to a donut without the sugar. Ooh, that it's, sounds it's good. It's good. It's real good. And all sorts of different types of pizzas. Right. Oh, yeah. We have um, uh, our specialty pizza is a uh, barbecue jerk uh, pizza. It's chicken, jalapenos, and pineapple with our own barbecue sauce that we make in house. Sounds and it's great. a it's a sauce that um, I worked a long time on and didn't get it right till three days before we opened. And now it's right. It's, it was perfect. I said, we're going to leave it like that. Just go with it. And it ends up, it's good on everything. Put it on pizzas, potatoes, uh, burgers, wow. you name it. Sounds good. Now, what type of sauce did you use here? Um, this is our lime cilantro sour cream. We start out with the base, which is the tortilla. Once it's you know fried up, it's really nice and crispy. Then we uh, put this lime cilantro sour cream down. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put our grilled pineapple on top. And then what I'll do is I will... Get the fish. All right. We'll get the fish now while he's getting the fish. Let everybody know where you're located, please, sir. All right. We're uh, 6601 Airport Boulevard, um, right next to the Army Aviation Credit Union, uh, practically in the, the parking lot of Providence. It opens up right there to it. A lot of people think when we're telling them that, they think we're across the street, we're Wenzel's and all, but we're across the street from Wenzel's. Okay. So we're a little hidden. Uh, hopefully, they're going to do um, some clearing out with the woods next to us, make us a little more visible. But. Um, you can find us. Nice and quaint. Right, it's cozy. Music. That's, that's exactly right. Exactly. So everything is getting finished. We're just going to add the slaw and voila. There you go. Make sure you log on to our website and get this recipe. Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. Looking really good. I cannot wait to taste these. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for coming in this morning. Thank you.